Welcome to Barn Find, episode number three. I've done a couple of these, and people, I haven't done one in a long time. People are like, squad, you gotta do a barn find. You gotta do a barn find, man. So, we're doing a barn find. Now, this is a whole new map. It's called, like, Old, old Family Farms, I think is the name of the map. There's a farm over here, which is pretty cool. It's like an older, it's an older style farm, like the, like the name of the map says. And what I, I guess you guys know what I did, but um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore it, and we're gonna take home a lot of the tractors, a lot of stuff we find, and I'll probably, to be honest, I have another series going on, in case you guys didn't know, it's called Rolling Coal Customs, it's a custom truck dealership, so some of this stuff we find, I may bring over to that series, is what I'm thinking, but I got the red crew here, I was like, you know what, we're gonna go red with all of our trucks and trailers for this one, because a lot of the stuff we find, we're gonna have to take off the farm, I don't know what I'll do with the farm though, the farm's kinda cool, I'll, I'll show you guys it, but what we're gonna do, is we're gonna get loaded up, I got the Duramax, and I got a Cummins. No Ford today. You guys know Ford's probably one of my favorite truck brands. I like them all, but if I had to choose, I'd take Ford. Uh, that's just me personally, but I love using everything else. So we got the Duramax. We got the Cummins today. I, the thing is, is we're going to be hauling heavy. And I got to kind of... Okay, so what's cool is you guys tell me hit that. And uh, I was trying to figure that out. I was like, what? Usually it just goes right through it. But a lot of people are making these tailgates, so they fold down. So it's a lot more realistic and you just got to back up here. I know like the gooseneck is literally going through the truck right now because it's so high up. But connector. There we go. And then, oh shoot, wrong button. And then I'll fold up the tailgate. We're good to go. So the Duramax is going to be one of the pulling trucks today. And then the and then the Cummins is going to be another pulling truck today. I'm going to jump in the Cummins, hook it up. We'll take each of these. But uh, I got a chain here. And the only way to get it, hold on. First, you know what I might do is I might connect this chain take it over there because we're gonna some of this stuff isn't is hasn't ran in forever so we have to we're probably gonna have to drag it out with the trucks and stuff which is gonna be fun it's gonna be cool and stuff i just gotta figure out okay i think if i put that right there it'll connect attach yes and then you can attach it to itself um i don't know if this is will work but what are, wait uh detach attach to self okay so i attach it to itself now what happens when i connect it to a gooseneck trailer Dude, this is kind of... I mean, technically, it'll work. Okay, think about this. This will technically work. I want a connector. There we go. It's going to be weird because you're going to have a chain dragon re behind, but... I know it's probably not legal dragon chain behind the road, but I think it'll work fine. It seems like it'll work fine. So, we're going to take the Cummins over there, and then we're going to go see what we all have. Uh, I bought this on auction. Paid half a million dollars for this farm. Land prices are have been increasing over the years. Commodity prices have been going up. Land prices follow. So... The farm's, the farm's worth a lot, but what's going to be fun is uh, the barn finds, as we say it. It's got some, old, it's got some older deer tractors too, which is, which is going to be neat. It's got a, uh, okay, I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys see for yourself. Okay, so here's the farm. Now I don't know if there's a, I don't think there's a farmhouse actually even on the farm. It's pretty much just all barns and stuff. They tore the house down a while ago, but it's an older farm, you can tell. So I'll park the trucks. We'll park the trucks just, yeah, we'll park the trucks just right up front here. We got our chain. I'm surprised that actually worked out. So we got our chain here. We got the big text trailer behind her. And I'm eventually going to have to detach this chain. But for now, we'll leave it on the Cummins. If we need the chain, we got the chain. We can pull stuff on the trailer. We can, I don't know. It's going to be kind of tough. Like, if we have a tractor that I can't start and I got to load it up on the trailer. I'm trying to think how this is going to go down. I got to unfold the ramps. <laughs> it's going to be a little weird dragging it up on the trailer. But we should, we should eventually be able to get it. Okay, here. Okay, first, before I show you guys everything that's in the barns and stuff, what I'm going to do is go grab that Duramax quick. Oh my gosh. There we go. We're back in the Duramax. I accidentally tabbed on one of the vehicles already, so you guys already saw the K30 that's in there. Watch. Okay, since you guys already saw the K30, the, uh, anyways, I, I don't really, I didn't really like the, the, the garlic color. I'm not a big fan of the garlic, but the previous owner of the farm, he, he loved garlic, so I, there's nothing I can do about that, uh, unfortunately. But it, it's honestly, it's 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 growing on me a little bit. This Duramax is sweet. So all these actually are all these trucks from Expendables. I don't think all these trucks are. I, I know this this Duramax is from Expendables Mine. It came from the Facebook page Expendables Mine. But <laughs> what do you guys think of the red red trailers? I like the red trailers to be honest. Like you guys see me starting to use red trailers a ton more nowadays. So I'm going to take a left here. There we go. The LBZ Cat Eye. 
Okay, this truck, we definitely won't load down as much as we will the Cummins. I'm thinking all the heavy equipment will go on the Cummins, some of the lighter stuff. We're going the Duramax. There we go, we're here. Okay, here's the tour of the place. I'll show you guys what's all happening now. Okay, you see McCormick Farm Mall. I know it's it's cringy seeing McCormick Farm Mall, and then you have deers in here. I know, I know, I know, but... I wish that was a deer sound right there. Unfortunately, I didn't have any McCormick old farm all tractors. If I did, I would have added them to the barn find series. But we have a 60 in the corner, a John Deere 60, uh, which is gas. Now, all these I've already been through all these tractors. All these tractors are gas. Uh, I haven't started any of them. And then we got a big... This is a new Big Tex trailer. This guy must have just got this Big Tex trailer. Oh, and then we got a K30. I don't know how many miles it has on it. It's got the little... What is, it, what is this called? Little camper shell? Aerodynamic camper shell? I don't know. It's old, though. We got the K30. It's got the garlic color. It's got a brown interior on it. Crew cab. This is... Honestly, this is kind of a rare truck. This is... Uh, I, but I like all the styles and all these guards and the visor and the cab lights and the uh, running boards and stuff that extend all the way back here. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. So... And then we got a John Deere 620 gasser, another 620 gasser. Um, so here's the McCormick building. This is, I guess we could call it the McCormick building right here, the McCormick barn, which is kind of cool. I thought, I thought honestly putting the truck here, it like looks sweet in the light. The lighting in here looks pretty cool in this barn, but we'll move on to the next barns. Now here's the John Deere barn. I probably should have put, or the track, the John Deere tractors probably should have been in the John Deere barn. We got the... Okay, so this, I don't know how long this has been here, sitting here. It's a 720. This is probably my favorite tractor out of all of them. Actually, yeah, I, okay, I would say the 720 is probably my favorite tractor out of all of them on this farm right now. Uh, but, unfortunately, I don't think this baby's going to start. I don't know why the heck he just, dude just left it outside, man. Like, what the heck? This is, oh, man, why would you, oh, you got all this barn space. Why do you leave it outside in the bushes? Uh, and then we have... A John Deere 4440. Now, I'm guessing this was his main farm tractor. The thing is, on this farm, they didn't farm many acres at all. Like, look, look at these. I guess the fields are fairly small. They could have had a lot of fields. Who knows? But all the fields around here are pretty small. So, they didn't have any huge equipment. Not that this is, like, really old and should be a barn find. But this is the main tractor they use. And, like, one of the only tractors they used. I don't know what they did with all the implements. Oh. You guys see that? You guys see that? The Shelby Mustang. It's got 800 horsepower. The dude just let it sit in this barn. I don't know what we named this barn. The Red Barn. I don't know. That's the John Deere barn. That's McCormick barn. This is uh, just the Red the red Barn. Now, I don't know if this is a Cobra. I'm pretty sure that's a Cobra badge. I have no idea if this is Cobra. I honestly don't know my cars very well. I, it's probably not a Super Snake. Super Snake is like the highest level of Mustang ever. And I don't, I don't know if they... I think they still make super snakes, but they are insane. They are wicked fast, dude. It is insane. Um, anyways, we're going to... Okay. So, I think that's pretty much it for this farm. I'm trying to think of any other... There's a barn over here. Let me check if there's anything in here. And there's a couple barns over here. But this is honestly... Like, I was going in this, going around this farm. I was like, dang, this is kind of cool farm. I would consider playing this farm. And this could be like a really... Wait, are there cows and stuff? Yes, you can... Hold on, where does... Yeah, okay, so this is actually... This will actually, like, work. Like, this whole farm, actually, it works. Oh, okay, he's got some junk cars back here and stuff. Darn, oh, dude, I did Okay, to be honest, I didn't even see this area, and I really should have put some cars or a tractor, like an old beat-up car or something, right here in this junk area. We could have pulled it out. Man, I should have... Darn it, I should have put that there. That was my mistake. By the way, first of all, a little side note. If you guys have any, like ideas on how to improve barn find videos and like where to put stuff what trucks to use and stuff throw it down in the comment section it's always nice to tell me how to improve even if you gotta curse at me and say squad this video sucked you should do this better and stuff oh there's a kind of, there's a little creek through here this is a pretty cool map and honestly i've been thinking like this would be really cool to put a uh to do r some old school farming on like with th some of these tractors and stuff like this would be a perfect map but I don't, know, I don't know how far you can go with old school farming videos, though. That's the thing. So, we're going to go to the McCormick barn. Start firing some of these up. Uh, we got the K30 here. K30. We'll see if... She, uh, 
See if she starts up. Ooh. Sounds good. It's got a big tax on her, but I don't want to... Okay, the thing is, I guess we could load some of these tractors up on this big tax. I don't... I don't know if the K30 is, can pull that much, to be honest, compared to some of these newer trucks. For now, I'll pull the K30 out. This is a sweet truck. Oh, it's even got uh, it's even got extra lights on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna pull her out, and we'll pull her. Uh, I guess we'll just pull her over by the other trucks. Oh, we okay. There's one gravity wagon also. There's one gravity wagon, DMI gravity wagon also on the farm that we own now. So I gotta load all this stuff up, and we gotta hit the road with all this stuff. And some of this stuff isn't gonna start. That's the thing. I doubt some of this stuff starts. Okay, back to the McCormick barn for the 60. Listen, hold on, hold on. You guys, okay, listen closely here. She started right up. It's pretty cool, the startup sound. In FS17, we had like a... Startup sound, they, they, I'm, I'm assuming they just took the same sound file from FS17, but the startup sound on these is, is it, it's awesome, it's awesome just hearing, it takes a, it takes a while to start up, to be honest, like you hear them, I, th I think they're spraying ether, I don't, I honestly don't know what they're spraying, you can hear them like spraying something, and then eventually it cranks over, here I'll do it one more time too, I guess you'll hear it again with other tractors. See, so you can hear them spraying. And there it goes. Starts firing up. So, the 60, we're going to pull out. And dude, see, I'm not used to... Okay, first of all, I've never driven one of these in real life and stuff. I've always known they can steer pretty sharp and stuff. Pretty tight tight cornering and stuff. But check this out. Look at this. Look how tight we can steer with this. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh, dude. Holy crap, no. Dude, you good? What the heck, man? What? Oh, dude, just stop like that. What the heck? I guess they can't tip. I gotta be careful with this thing. I mean, what you can do with these tractors is you can hit the brakes. You got a right and left brake over here. You should have a foot... Ah, oh, maybe you don't. You should have a foot brake, and what you can do is you can just hold one brake, and it can do a 360, almost like a zero turn lawnmower, I guess. Okay, we'll load up... Ah, uh, what do we want to load up? We'll load up the 60 on here. Now, since we have so much trailer space, I think we'll be... Actually, here, what we'll do is we'll, I guess I can pull a crack. I'll load up the gravity wagon too, why not? We'll load up the gravity wagon and the tractor quick. So I'll back up over to the gravity wagon, load up the gravity wagon, and then the 62. Now the Shelby, Mu okay, the Shelby Mustang over there. I think what I'm gonna do with that is take, I'm gonna have one trailer going back to Roll Hill Customs, my dealership. So I'll load the Shelby Mustang on trailer, and then also I'll load, I'll probably load the K30 on the trailer too. We'll take the, ah, shoot, well, we have the K30 here. So, oh, okay, so what I'll do is I'll have this going back to uh, Roll Call Customs, and I'll load the Shelby Mustang on this trailer, and then I think that's it. I think I'll only take the Shelby Mustang with that trailer. A everything else doesn't need to go back to Roll Call Customs. So, let me, here, I'll get the Duramax quick. Oh, tailgate. There we go. We want the ramps. And then I'll load the, uh, Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll load the 60 on there, and then I'll load the gravity wagon up on there, too. And this will just sell on Craigslist or something. Oh, shoot, let me attach. Oh, speaking of Craigslist. Okay, when I was young, dude, on Craigslist, Craigslist was my, like, addiction. When I was young, all I would do is, like, get home from school for, like, 20 minutes. It's the weirdest thing ever. I'd go to the farm and garden section and just look for the new stuff that was uploaded. I didn't, I didn't ha live on a farm, didn't have a farm or anything. I just was always, I, I just always searched for it. It was, it was, I don't know. Do you guys do that? Do you guys go on Craigslist all the time? I still go on Craigslist sometimes to just search for stuff I'd be, you know, kind of interested in buying. For example, like I just bought a snowmobile. So I was on Craigslist like all the time. By the way, in case you guys download this map, once you get into the map, you'll hear a guy talking to you, like from behind you. It's kind of cool. You just like right when you enter. Anyways, my AirPods 
they keep losing connection and stuff. So I had to whole restart the whole game and stuff. So that's why you saw me just enter the map. But what I'm going to try to do is pull out the 720. And we'll see if she'll start. Actually, yeah, we'll see if she starts. It's pretty much dead. She is not going to crank over. I could. Oh, I don't have any jumper cables or anything. I think what I'll do is I'll drag the 720 onto onto the. Ah, oh, shoot. Maybe I won't. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be pulling these. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to pull the gravity wagon home because I'm not going to have space with the gravity wagon. We got a lot of stuff to transport. The gravity wagon just takes up way too much space. So what I'm going to do. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what you can do, honestly, like you can hear it's still starting up, but you can still move the 60 right now. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to back this off quick. Gravity wagon, we'll just pull home with... I guess I could always drive a tractor home. But uh, we'll just pull the gravity wagon home with the truck later. Come back for that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drop that there. Load up. Actually, what if I pulled the 60? Okay, here, here. Let me do this. Let me do that. This would actually be kind of cool. So I'm going to... I got to unhook this chain here. If I can. There we go. So chain is unhooked, and then I'm going to drag the chain over to the 60, and we're going to pull the 720 with the 60. Oh, shoot. Keep sliding. There we go. Oh, shoot. You good? Oh, dude. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I should use a 4440. I should probably use a stronger tractor. It's probably fine, I guess. Okay, for some reason, I couldn't get the 60 attached, so what I did is I fired up the 620 that was over here. It fired up fine. And I got this attached. So what we'll do is go drag the 620 over to the set. Actually, we'll take the 620 over the 720. Drag the 720 back on the trailer. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Let me get out of here. So what happens is I drag this chain. And the chain comes sliding behind me. And it gets, like, wrapped up under the tire. You know, I could attach it to itself. There we go. It'll work a little better attaching to itself. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, we got a flat tire or something on the 620. Okay, there we go. I'm going to I'm gonna back her up. This might be a little... This is going to be sketchy backing her up. I feel like the cha chain's going to be hitting the tire. There we go. So what yeah, I just did is detach it from itself. I should have detached it from itself. Okay, so now... Here. Oh, you know what? So I have the lift anything mod. I wonder if I can grab this chain and pull the tractor. Ah, uh, no. I don't think that's going to work. I was hoping that would. Okay, so let me back this up closer. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. Camera view is hitting the power lines or something. Like this camera view. It keeps hitting the power lines and makes me zoom in and stuff. Okay, right there. We should be close enough. Attach the vehicle. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're attached, though. <laughs> we are attached. So what I'll do is I'll pull the 720. I think this will work. Yeah, there we go, baby. There we go. The 620's pulling the 720. I just gotta... Here. Let me jump in here. And I, I should be able to steer. There we go. So I changed the steering. You gotta crank her over a ton. Pull, baby. Nice. <laughs> Look at the 620 just pulling. This is kind of cool, though. I love hearing the popping. The two-cylinder popping and stuff. <laughs> you know what? I should probably bring the truck closer. Because this is going to be a long ways to pull her. Okay, here. Let me, uh, let, let's see if we can get the steer in a little bit. Actually, okay, we'll keep going. Okay, we got to pull this way. Come on, don't hit the power line. Or the pull. <laughs> there we go, we cleared it. Okay, let me... <laughs> I love seeing this thing pull. You know what? I should get the 4440 and see if the 4440 would be able to drag it a little better. Obviously, it would be able to. She's got a lot more weight on her. But uh, we'll be using the Duramax. So I'll grab the Duramax quick. Fold up the... Oh. Oh, we have the Cummins around. Okay, it sounded like... I should be able to tell the difference between Cummins and Duramax, but it sounded like uh, the truck was running. Dude, the interior. They got the interior around this truck. It's a fantastic work truck. I love just, like, solid work trucks... Nothing fancy. You guys know I had the F550 where there was like a, it was a meow. <laughs> it was the cat truck. They had like a cat logo on it and stuff, like like an actual animal cat, not the equipment cat brand. 
Oh, that was a mess. But this is a solid work truck right here. Okay, so what what I can do, I gotta get squared off, but I'm probably just gonna pull the tractor right up on the trailer. Because that's almost like the only way to do it. I guess I could push the tractor from like behind or something too. That'd, that'd probably work. Okay, so here we go. I'll unfold this ramp. And then we're literally just going to drag it up on the trailer. I don't know if we have enough power though. Once we get pulling uphill, it's going to be a struggle. <laughs> it's kind of fun though. Okay, let me uh, let me straighten out the steering a little bit. It's going to the side. There we go. Now it's straight. We'll see. We'll see how this pulls now. Come on, baby, pull up there. Maybe we'll get a little more traction once we hit the ramps too. <laughs> oh shoot. We're slowly doing it. Come on, bro. Dude, I should have my deer hat. Why didn't I have my deer hat? So you can actually, in case you guys are new to farm sim, you can get a deer, you can get a deer, uh, baseball cap on, uh, for your guy. And I forgot to get one. Oh, come on. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Keep pulling. As long as they come on straight, I don't want it to like start pulling to the side and stuff and then it falls off the trailer. Nice. Okay, but the thing is, we got to keep going closer. So, what I'll do... Wait, wait. If this works, I wonder if I can, like, pull it. Like, actually just yank the chain. Oh, is the tractor moving? Tractor's moving. Tractor... I think the tractor was moving there for a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to yank the train, chain again. Oh, you can kind of see it moving in that upper corner. Okay, it's probably not going to work. I just need a little more here. What I'll do... Um, I don't, I don't want to hit the, we just need a tad more, man. Okay. I got it to where it's good. Now what I'll do is I'll fold her up. We got these two loaded up. Oh shoot. There we go. We got the Duramax loaded down with the big text. Oh shoot. Oh, don't fall off the side. What is happening? I think it's that chain. Let me, okay. I gotta get that chain out of there. It's definitely that chain. Uh, detach. There we go. So now what I can do is I should be able to just drag this chain off of here without disturbing any of these vehicles. Okay, one of, those, one of those tractors are firing up right now. Come on. Just need to get this chain off of here quick. Oh, shoot. Oh, don't hit any vehicles. There we go. Okay, we got the chain off of here. Stuff should be working better. That's about to fall off. There we go. See, now everything's smooth and the tractors aren't moving a ton. Oh, shoot. Hold on, hold on. Let me shut this tractor off. There we go. Okay, so Duramax is loaded down. We got to get the 4440. The show. Actually, let's get the Shelby Mustang right now. Actually, I want to. I want to drive that thing. Duramax is loaded down. Mustang is next. Wherever this Mustang is, it's in the red barn. Yeah, that's right. We call it the red barn. So, like everything works on this farm. Meaning, like I, I don't know what this feed is for. I don't know if it's for chickens or what. Right there, but it looks like you can have cattle. I think that's that's a cattle area over there. I don't know if you can have pigs. Pigs might be somewhere around the farm, but it's kind of neat. It's a classic farm. Okay, we'll fire up the Shelby. I guess I didn't fire this up. 800 horsepower tune. Oh. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. The camera view is a little different. I think it, what it is, it's a narrow camera view. The, F, uh, the FOV is probably set at like, it's usually set at 60 and I bet it's set at like 40 or 30. So it makes it zoom in more. Okay, I want to get on her a little bit. I love that idle. Okay, it's slow, but I like how the car is just not like a rocket and just doesn't take off like crazy fast to where it's uncontrollable. Because right there, I was full throttle, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, the car is pretty slow, dude. Oh, man. Okay, this is... This is fairly slow. We're still going to load her up. We're still going to take her to Roll Crow Customs. Maybe we can tune her. Maybe we can get her faster at Roll Crow Customs. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, gosh darn it. I couldn't have screwed that up any worse. Oh, my gosh, man. The, tier this, the steering and everything is just a little slow. I'm just not used to that. So, the K30 will be pulling back uh, the Mustang. There we go. And last thing, one of the last things to get loaded up is 4440 and this other 60 here. 
We'll fire up the 4440. You guys have seen it. It's been in my farming series. Use it all the time. Perfect tractor. Actually, the creator of it, Rooster Modding, I know him and he goes to Iowa State, which is pretty cool and stuff too. The guy, or he, I don't know if he created it. I think he edited it and he fixed it up. He improved this 4440 a ton compared to what it was. I don't know if he was the one that like converted it or anything like that, um, but he made it so much better. Um, okay, it's in the deer barn. That's right. And I think he was working on like a 4240. I'm pretty sure I saw a, like a photo of him like it like trying to show that he was uh, working on a new model. It only showed the model number. It didn't even show like the tractor much at all. But it's pretty comparable to the 4440. Throw this one up on the trailer. Should be good to go. Okay, this is... Dude, I should take the duels off off this thing. Because this is going to be a little sketchy going down the road with the duels on here. And I don't think we can fit another tractor on here. It's just... 4440 is definitely enough for the Cummins. There we go. Perfect. Everything is loaded up, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this barn find video. It was cool to, like, have some older tractors. And obviously, just so you guys know, like, some kid last time in another episode was like, Dude, squad, you just placed those there. They weren't actually there. Yes, uh, trust me. I placed them there. It's fake. He was like, It's fake, dude. It's fake. He placed them there. Trust me. It is fake. It is fake. But anyways, guys, if you, if you kind of enjoyed these, let me know. Hit that like button. If you have any suggestions, put it down in the comment section. Then. Let me know. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.